My first guest tonight is one of the finest actors in the world. You know him as the beloved Professor X, a role he is playing for the final time in Logan. Where you all hit it? Uh, Oregon. South Dakota. Um, well, Oregon and then South Dakota. Vacation. Uh, yes. Oh, long overdue. I'd love to travel someday. And I bet you will. I can drop out of school. Okay, let's not go that far. I mean, I'll, I'll do it. Um, Careful, you're speaking to a uh, man who ran a school for a lot of years, right, Charles? Really? <sighs> well, yes. Uh, it was a, it was a kind of special needs school. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, that's a good description. He was there, too. Oh, yeah, no, um, I got kicked out a few times. <laughs> I wish I could say you were a good pupil, but the words would choke me. <laughs> Please welcome Sir Patrick Stewart. This is how we do it. Thank you, and you too. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Very happy to see you, too. Thank you. People like that story. Good to see you again. And good you, to see you again. Stephen, always good. Um, uh, I don't, uh, let's get to the big news, because uh -huh. I hope I'm not giving anything away here. Stop me if I am, but. Um, people may not know this, but they're actually making um, uh, the Emoji Movie. They're making a right. movie. This is true. We're not making this up. They're making a movie based on the emojis, and you have been cast as the poop emoji. <laughs> do I have that? Sir Patrick, do I have that correct? Yes, you do. Um, they can't. The queen, the queen can't come take the knighthood away, can she? Is she gonna be okay with this? You know, I'm gonna run it by her when I go back to London. Just so, stop by Buckingham? So to speak. And um, I think she will approve. Because she will know that for me, poop has been... <laughs> I, I mean, The guy's no, talking about his art. The guy's talking me, about his art, everybody. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Steve. Yes. You hear what the man said? Yes. For me, poop has been a lifelong work in progress. <laughs> um, yeah. Are you method? Is this, is this method? Oh, totally internal until it's external, of course. <laughs> yes, of course. Um, but you see, the, the thing, when I was an infant, of course, it was more spontaneous. Um, <laughs> But what's interesting, that in my teens, it took a kind of um, comedic spurt, you know? <laughs> I was, um, uh, it was low farce rather oh. than high comedy. But as I matured, so did my output. <laughs> now, uh, okay, let's talk about Logan for a second. Um, uh, it, it comes out this weekend. I, because I'm special, have already seen it. And it is, I've already seen it. Have you seen it? I, I've seen it twice. Wow. It's an absolutely beautiful movie. And it is different from any other, you might say, sort of comic book romp that, that they've ever made. And, but in some ways, it's so much more like what it's like to read one of these sort of adventure superhero comic books. It's, it's gritty, it's dark. Professor X drops the F-bomb every so often. Mm -hmm. Was that nice to be able to let fly with the... Uh, you know, him being a little bit more human? Well, it, it, it's one of those ways in which you can say, things have changed, folks. This is not the man that you've grown to love and feel secure with all these years. No, he is old, 90, 90 plus, mm -hmm. it, which I know would be a stretch for you to imagine me as a 90 plus. <laughs> the makeup artists are the amazing ma oh, in this makeup, one. Oh, the makeup, they yes. were sensational. Yeah. They deserve Oscar nominations mm -hmm. for their work on me. Um, <laughs> But it's like all the X-Men movies. It is about something. And primarily, although, yes, they are superhero people, but it's also about family. There's the family that you saw in that clip just now, but also there's another family. There's a grandfather. Mm -hmm. 
there's a son who might be Logan, and there's a daughter, a granddaughter too, who is um, the most extraordinary young woman, I think the most extraordinary child performer I have ever met. Her name is Daphne Keene. Yeah, and she's you watch incredible. It. You've, you've she's seen incredible. her. Yeah. She's incredible. The story's really beautiful, and, and, it's, and it's shockingly, surprisingly, it catches you by surprise about how moving it is, because all the other X-Men movies coming up to now, you've gotten to know and to have affection for these characters, but now you see them um, brought low. It's, oh, yeah. it's in 2029. Something terrible has happened. You don't really know. It's not explained that much. It's one of my favorite things in good science fiction, is that you don't really know why the future is this way. I assume Trump was elected. <laughs> uh, yes. And... But... Uh, the, the, the thing is, what is pertinent about this movie was written three, the ideas, four years ago. And this is really a case of life catching up with art. It, it really is. Like, you can't, you can't imagine that this thing was written before Donald Trump I became know, president. Because what they're dealing with, like, at the Mexican border, what they're dealing with fleeing to Canada, the, 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 which I'm not giving anything away by saying that, no, no, but they're all things that I thought, how could they possibly have known that this would be we, so... We couldn't have known. ...topically and, associated. Um, but the, the three principal characters, the good guys in yeah. our story, they have one super objective, and that is to get to a border it happens to be the Canadian border, and get across, why? To safety. And all over the world, there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people who are doing exactly the same thing because their lives are at risk and in danger. And it has never been so bad, and that has happened since this script was developed. Well, um, every, I, everybody should see it. It's an incredibly beautiful movie, and uh, it's, a, it's a Western in its own way. Mm -hmm. And um, I... Uh, I haven't cried at a superhero movie before. How about that? I haven't cried at a superhero movie before, but this one, uh, this one really got me. This one really got me. It's okay. So, it's okay? It's okay. It's okay? That's been my... That was my superpower, not crying. <laughs> Until uh, now. Yes. Now, uh, you, uh, I, so we have this little uh, video here. Uh, this was, you posted this online, or a friend of yours posted this, perhaps your wife posted it online. This is you in front of a hardware store uh, window, and uh, this is also very moving. Jim, can we show? You know, we all have desires in life. We all have ambitions and hopes. But when I stand in front, of a hardware store like this. This is all I want. There's a lot fame, celebrity, Academy Awards. There's nothing more. In fact, look here. Look at this wall. I want it all. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. You too? I know the feeling. So we just wanted to give you a little. We want to give you a little gift. We got you. We got you. Uh, we got you a socket wrench set. Okay. There you go. Right there. And I will. I will hold this. And as and as we as we go out, I thought it would be nice if we just sort of socket wrench down. Okay. okay. Socket wrench that down. Maybe we take that off. Okay. Oh, actually, I'll do this. I'll hold this. You do, you do, uh, you do that side, okay? Yeah. It should be the right, right side. Is that the there right side? Go. Yep. Oh, okay, I got it. ready? All right, I'll hold this. Logan oh. is in theaters this Friday. <laughs> Sir Patrick Stewart, everybody. We'll be right back with Chris Colfer.